sum and zero article with uncountable and plural nouns. My uncle has just sent me a letter from Japan where he is on business with some Japanese. He knows I collect them and often send me stamps. They look rather nice. Are you going to paste them in your album? Yes, here it is. I have got quite a nice collection now. What a lot! French, Italian, Dutch, German, American. You seem to have some from almost every country. Oh, there are a lot. I have not got yet. And some rare ones are very expensive and cost hundreds of money. But what is the use of collecting stamps? Oh, well, it's hobby. And it teaches you some geography and sometimes it brings money. I like something more active. My hobby is collecting terns and wild flowers. In the dialogues, the friends have used some for expressions of quantity and in affirmative contexts. We come across certain nouns with zero article or no article. Here are some examples of sentences with some and zero article. My uncle has just sent me a letter from Japan where he is on business with some Japanese. What a lot! French, Italian, Dutch, German, American. You seem to have some from almost every country. And some rare ones are very expensive and cost hundreds of money. And it teaches you some geography and sometimes it brings money. In the first sentence, some is used to talk about unknown numbers and zero article is used with abstract noun business. In the second sentence, zero article is used with the nouns like names of languages and national, French, Italian, Dutch, German, American. In the third sentence, some is used with plural uncountable nouns. In the last sentence, some is used with geography to talk about particular but unspecified subject knowledge. Usage We use some in affirmative sentences and questions with plural and uncountable nouns when we talk about limited but indefinite or unknown numbers or qualities of things. To talk about particular but unspecified people or things. Before a number to mean approximately. When we want to emphasize that we can't say exactly which person or thing we are talking about because we don't know or can't remember. We use some instead of a or an with a singular noun. We use zero article. With uncountable and plural nouns, when we talk generally about people or things, with words like father, mother, uncle, etc., as well as baby, nurse and teacher. With all uncountable nouns denoting non-material things, when used as class names. With many words denoting public institutions, when their purpose rather than mere building or places thought of. Let us look at a few sentences. In the days of Ashoka, stone pillars were very common. English language is rich in vocabulary. She has plenty of time but no money. Will you please buy me some butter when you go out? Some eight or nine young men were crowding anxiously round an open window. In the first sentence, the article is omitted with plural nouns when spoken generally about. In the second sentence, the article is omitted with language name. In the third sentence, zero article is used with uncountable nouns denoting non-material things when used as class names. In the fourth sentence, some is used with uncountable noun. In the last sentence, some is used to express the number approximately.